Keep in mind they are close, so we want to make sure that our terminals do not touch and we do not have a shorting event. From there, we're going to go inside the vehicle, and on this vehicle, we're going to leave this connected until the screen comes on inside the vehicle, which could be two to three minutes. So on other vehicles, a little bit different. On this one, we are going to leave it connected until that screen turns on. Once the screen turns on, it's an indication that the vehicle is going to recover the low voltage side of the system from the high voltage, and we should be good to go from there. So we have our jump source up there energized, and we come in the vehicle and we can see that the center screen is in fact turned on. So that's an indication that the vehicle is going to recover its low voltage battery. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and I'm gonna see if the vehicle will shift to drive. It's indicating the vehicle will shift to drive. That makes me happy. From there, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna disconnect our jump source from the front trunk area. We're going to disconnect negative, then positive, and then we're gonna reinstall the service panel close the front trunk and we're good to go on a jump start. The last thing we need to do here is just take and push these wires back up in this hole in the fender and reinstall that rubber plug. Good to go.